This is a Sprinter 312 from 1996. It's a friend's van. He's been telling me about this for some time and I'm very pleased to say I can come and actually film it. I'm going to show it to you right now and have a look at this really nice internal design. Now obviously uh, we're here at an event uh, where this is the uh, largest convoy uh, motorhome convoy in the world. It's an attempt to beat the world record. So that's why we're here today in central Germany. So having a quick look at the van. So let's have a look. First of all we've got the captain's chairs at the front. We have this automatic gear stick of a type I have personally never seen before but uh, maybe those of you who are into older sprinters will know uh, what it is and have seen that before. I sit down here in the passenger seat and let's start off at the floor. See it's a hardwood, real wood floor. Now it's admittedly not lightweight materials but it's very hard wearing. We've got up there, now in this conversion, cork as a material. Cork is very lightweight. It's got a way of uh, absorbing moisture, or at least that's the effect it seems to give. It, uh, many people say it's very breathable as a um, material. Um, and uh, okay, it's wood and it insulates. So um, there's some ideas on that. All right. Now we've got storage down here on the left and as we go up to the kitchen uh, we see that we've got the electrics, we've got a gas, you see the old Truma or Trumatic uh, control so it gives its uh, age away. The solar is still working, it's, you know, it's more than 20 years old. This company Cal uh, Calira, I think they went out of business around 98 hours. Um, I think the business was sold rather and I um, can't quite remember the circumstances involved in that but you can no longer get uh, this van but there's people using this same layout. Now we've got the kitchen up here. Below we have electric fridge, two-way fridge. It's uh, and also it's quite old and uh, that's quite original. I, I was pretty certain it was gas when I saw it. Okay, we have sort of standard way of closing the drawers. We've got here wardrobes on the left and right side. Oh, sorry, I exaggerate a bit. Not so much a wardrobe, there are shelves in there. Over here, we've got storage which is accessible from inside. And behind that we've got other storage which I'll show you when we go in there. Right, sink for a vehicle of this size. Yeah, it's okay, you may say that's small, but hey, the, the, this vehicle measures 570 centimeters. Uh, you've got this space here for preparing food. You can see how the bed works. And down there We've got an enormous table. This van is 570 centimeters. I'll probably repeat that a few times. And look at the site of that table. They've got this L-shaped lounge. A friend he, he did that, uh, so it was part of his his work. And it gives so much extra space. You can sort of sit down here, uh, with legs up over there, and watch something on the, on the computer or something that's stuck on the table. Yeah, very comfortable. Now we'll come round here and have a look in the bathroom. So it's uh, it's small but it's very compact and it's well thought out. There is indeed, I would say, quite a lot of room in here. And the sink for a motorhome bathroom of this size is enormous. Now, one of the things you see is, is the way the uh, the, the, the uh, walls slope, so it's like you're coming in at an angle, and that's because of the way it looks from the outside. That's the way it's built, or built a bit like a roof. So um, it does impinge a bit on the space you've got. This is you know, 
Sprint is probably the most exaggerated of all these vehicles. There's some of the old Volkswagens as well, sloping in quite a lot. Now, storage here, accessible from inside, or as you may be able to tell, outside as well. Oh, there's two steps up to the bed. Let's have a look on the back now. Space for the bikes has been put on here. Okay, and we see we've got a bit of space here in the garage as well. So, batteries over here. There's these um, is it chocks in English. I can't remember the word now. These things you sort of use to make the the van uh, stabilize the position of the van. Behind that, we've got uh, deck chairs outside. There's the gas uh, toilet cassette. People in America, I'll show you how it works. Well, not entirely, but what you do is you press this thing down here like that, and you pull it out, making sure, of course, that the toilet inside is uh, the the ex is closed. Otherwise, the thing won't come out. And there's the access to there uh, to the uh, which is also access from the the, uh, the toilet as well. So two-way access. Well, I think that's a very nice little van. I think it, you know, the, the, the footprint is n not much more than that of a car. We can see the up, up there on the roof, we've got the uh, TV thing, which uh, doesn't work as yet, but that dates to probably late 1990s as well. But full marks to the manufacturers of the solar panels for producing something that's still working after all these years. So, um, this is quite an amazing event. There are hundreds of motorhomes here. We'll be setting off in a short while to try and beat the world record for the largest motorhome convoy in history. I've got one or two films from it. And you can see them uh, elsewhere.